Okay, now this one. So we have our, our graph, it's saying here's our interval, 0 to 4.5, and this value is some k. Uh, some value we don't know, it gives us this one later on, it's uh, 2.416. Uh, gives us A of T, B of T, and says how much water will be in tank A at time 4.5. All it is is from 0 to 4.5 find the integral of that fella. So, here we go. Math, nine, integral from zero to 4.5, and we have A of T is two C minus five, plus five E to the two sine T, in our case, X, and all that is with respect to x. We hit enter and we get 66.53 and that is the correct answer. Okay, so now the next one. It says during the time interval zero to k Water flows into tank B at a rate of 20.5. What is the difference between the amount of water in tank A and the amount of water in tank B at time T equal to K? Okay, here we go. This is what it's saying. It's saying, hey, from zero to K, uh, this is what's flowing. We gotta subtract it with what's flowing into A, and we're gonna get, this is the answer. I've already solved it, sorry. Um, but we have to find K. So in order to find K, because we gotta go zero to whatever that is, in order to find K, we need to do what we did in the last problem. We need to graph 20.5 and A of T and find the intersection when it ends up to be this guy right here. So there we go. And there's actually, uh, cool uh, cheat or whatever that I'll show you on the calculator hopefully but here it is uh, so that we don't have to keep typing the same equation in but we can type it in once right here and be good okay so now I'm gonna change my window so I'm gonna hit window it's supposed to intersect at 20.5 on the y-axis so let's make you know the y max 30 or whatever um and it, we're looking in between zero and k which we know our biggest number is 4.5 so k is somewhere over here so uh i can make my y value you know as high as 4.5 and no i'm not going to miss it <coughs> there it is and I'm looking for where it crosses. Most likely this is that 2 point uh, whatever, 2.416, right? So that's where we're, that's where we're looking right here. Uh, see, look, here's the other thing. This looks awfully straight up to that point, then it starts diving. So that's that 20 point, 20 point five up to that point. So here we go. So now to find that intersection, second, Calculate number five, and we gotta get that cursor closer to our first intersection. There it is, boom, boom, enter, enter, enter. 0 0.89204, all right, so that's our K. So that's what I wrote down right there. Now, we're going to take the integral math, oops, sorry, math 9, 0 to k, which is 0 0.89204, and here we could actually type in, like, the y1, um, I'll show you that later, right now, let's just do this, here it is, 2x minus 5 plus 5 second, uh, natural log of so e to the 2 sine x, close those parentheses, dx, oops, 
that's good, but I forgot to put in the 20.5 minus. So insert 20.5 minus. Throw parentheses in there so that it subtracts all of that. And here we go, 10.599. Okay, so there's that difference. Now we go to C. The area of the region bounded by the graphs we already know this K. It's 0.89, whatever, whatever that we just found. So the average bounded by the graphs for in between those two is 14.470. How much water is in tank B at this time? Okay, let's just talk about it. What do we know? What do we have? What do we not know? Okay, we know by area bounded by two curves from K to 2.4, uh, this one minus this one, top minus bottom, equals 14.470. What do I need? I need 0 to 2.4 of B. That's what I'm looking for. How much water is in tank B at that time? That's what I need. What do I have? I have 0 to K. I just, or at least I can find it uh, right here. Because I know 0 to K is supposed to be 20.5. And I know what K is, so I use that. Boom. Uh, so I need K to 2.4. That's what I need. But, because I have, I know what, again, I know what K is. It's point, point 0.89204. I know what this function is. I could instead use this and be like, hey, wait a second. This guy minus this guy is going to equal the very thing that I'm looking for. Because that's what I was just given right up here. So, the integral of this fellow, here it is, math 9, from 0.89204 to, now let me get it right, 2.416. 2 of my equation, which my equation is. 2x minus 5 plus 5 uh, e to the 2 sine of x. What are those parentheses of x? So this guy is 44.49 minus that 14 is 30.02. Okay, that's that b. So now I just need to add this part of b to this part of b, 18.28. To 30.02 and I get 48.31 okay last one D during this time interval the rate at which water flows into tank B is modeled by this equation is the difference of those two increasing or decreasing at that time T equals 3.5 show the work that leads to your answer um, again, this is just taking the derivative. So we got to take the derivative of this fella, take the derivative of the A uh, at 3.5, subtract them. If the answer is positive, it's increasing. If it's negative, it's decreasing. All right, here we go. So that is math 8. That's our derivative. I'm going to do W first, W of T. Okay, so W of T is 21 minus, and we need to open these parentheses because this is a full fella. Uh, minus 8. This, oops, this quantity squared. And we're evaluating at 3.5. So that's negative 3.786. So there we go, writing that down. Minus... We need to get the uh, derivative of a prime, math 8, x, and a again is up here, oops, my bad, uh, 2t minus 5, okay, so here we go, it's the 2x minus 5 plus 5 second e, okay, to the to sine x, close this parentheses, at 
also negative. So I have a negative minus a negative. Negative minus a negative. Put those together. Negative 1.14. Okay, and how you can do that quickly in your calculator is this minus, and just scroll up, this, enter, boom, you got it. So there's that.